In network theory, link analysis is a data analysis technique used to evaluate relationships between nodes. Relationships may be identified among various types of nodes, including organizations, people and transactions. Link analysis has been used for investigation of criminal activity, computer security analysis, search engine optimization, market research, medical research, and art. Knowledge discovery Knowledge discovery is an iterative and interactive process used to identify, analyze and visualize patterns in data. Network analysis, link analysis and social network analysis are all methods of knowledge discovery, each a corresponding subset of the prior method. Most knowledge discovery methods follow these steps, data processing, transformation, analysis, visualization, data gathering and processing requires access to data and has several inherent issues, including information overload and data errors. Once data is collected, it will need to be transformed into a format that can be effectively used by both human and computer analyzers. Manual or computer-generated visualizations tools may be mapped from the data, including network charts. Several algorithms exist to help with analysis of data a Euro Distra a Euro Unregistered Trademark S algorithm, Breadth First Search, and Depth First Search. Link analysis focuses on analysis of relationships among nodes through visualization methods. Here is an example of the relationships that may be mapped for crime investigations. Link analysis is used for three primary purposes, find matches in data for known patterns of interest. Find anomalies where known patterns are violated. Discover new patterns of interest. History, clerks categorized link analysis tools into three generations. The first generation was introduced in 1975 as the ANAC Papa chart of Harper and Harris. This method requires that a domain expert review data files, identify associations by constructing an association matrix, create a link chart for visualization and finally analyze the network chart to identify patterns of interest. This method requires extensive domain knowledge and is extremely time-consuming when reviewing vast amounts of data. In addition to the association matrix, the activities matrix can be used to produce actionable information, which is practical value and used to law enforcement. The activities matrix, as the term might imply, centers on the actions and activities of people with respect to locations. Whereas the association matrix focuses on the relationships between people, organizations, and or properties. The distinction between these two types of matrices, while minor, is nonetheless significant in terms of the output of the analysis completed or rendered. Second generation tools consist of automatic graphics based analysis tools such as IBM i2 Analyst, a Euro Unregistered Trademark S Notebook, NetMap, SVAT, and Watson. These tools offer the ability to automate the construction and updates of the link chart once an association matrix is manually created, however, analysis of the resulting charts and graphs still requires an expert with extensive domain knowledge. The third generation of link analysis tools allow the automatic visualization of linkages between elements in a dataset, that can then serve as the canvas for further exploration or manual updates. Applications, FBI Violent Criminal Apprehension Program, Iowa State Sex Crimes Analysis System, Minnesota State Sex Crimes Analysis System, Washington State Homicide Investigation Tracking System, New York State Homicide Investigation and Lead Tracking, New Jersey Homicide Evaluation and Assessment Tracking, Pennsylvania State ATAC Program. Violent Crime Linkage Analysis System. Issues with link analysis. Equals information overload equals, with the vast amounts of data and information that are stored electronically, users are confronted with multiple unrelated sources of information available for analysis. Data analysis techniques are required to make effective and efficient use of the data. Palshikar classifies data analysis techniques into two categories a Euro statistical and artificial intelligence techniques. Bolton and Hand define statistical data analysis as either supervised or unsupervised methods. Supervised learning methods require that rules are defined within the system to establish what is expected or unexpected behavior. 
unsupervised learning methods review data in comparison to the norm and detect statistical outliers. Supervised learning methods are limited in the scenarios that can be handled as this method requires that training rules are established based on previous patterns. Unsupervised learning methods can provide detection of broader issues, however, may result in a higher false positive ratio if the behavioral norm is not well established or understood. Data itself has inherent issues including integrity and continuous changes. Data may contain a euro or errors of omission and commission because of faulty collection or handling, and when entities are actively attempting to deceive and or conceal their actions a euro. Sparrow highlights incompleteness, fuzzy boundaries and dynamic changes as the three primary problems with data analysis. Once data is transformed into a usable format, open texture and cross-referencing issues may arise. Open texture was defined by Weisman as the unavoidable uncertainty in meaning when empirical terms are used in different contexts. Uncertainty in meaning of terms presents problems when attempting to search and cross-reference data from multiple sources. The primary method for resolving data analysis issues is reliance on domain knowledge from an expert. This is a very time-consuming and costly method of conducting link analysis and has inherent problems of its own. McGraw et al. conclude that the layout and presentation of a network diagram have a significant impact on the user a Euro unregistered trademark SA Euro O perceptions of the existence of groups in networks a Euro. Even using domain experts may result in differing conclusions as analysis may be subjective. Equals prosecution versus crime prevention equals, link analysis techniques have primarily been used for prosecution as it is far easier to review historical data for patterns than it is to attempt to predict future actions. Krebs demonstrated the use of an association matrix and link chart of the terrorist network associated with the 19 hijackers responsible for the September 11 attacks by mapping publicly available details made available following the attacks. Even with the advantages of hindsight and publicly available information on people, places and transactions, it is clear that there is missing data. Alternatively, Piccarelli argued that use of link analysis techniques could have been used to identify and potentially prevent illicit activities within the Orm Shinrikyo network. A Euro OE we must be careful of a Euro guilt by association a Euro unregistered trademark. Being linked to a terrorist does not prove guilt a Euro, but it does invite investigation a Euro balancing the legal concepts of probable cause right to privacy and freedom of association become challenging when reviewing potentially sensitive data with the objective to prevent crime or illegal activity that has not yet occurred. Proposed solutions, there are four categories of proposed link analysis solutions, heuristic-based, template-based, similarity-based, statistical, heuristic-based tools utilize decision rules that are distilled from expert knowledge using structured data. Template-based tools employ natural language processing to extract details from unstructured data that are matched to predefined templates. Similarity-based approaches use weighted scoring to compare attributes and identify potential links. Statistical approaches identify potential links based on lexical statistics. Equals Crime Net Explorer equals J. J. Zhu and H. Chen propose a framework for automated network analysis and visualization called CrimeNet Explorer. This framework includes the following elements, network creation through a concept space approach that uses a euro oco occurrence weight to measure the frequency with which two words or phrases appear in the same document. The more frequently two words or phrases appear together, the more likely it will be that they are relative to euro. Network partition using a Euro OE hierarchical clustering to partition a network into subgroups based on relational strength for Euro. Structural analysis through a Euro O3 centrality measures to identify central members in a given subgroup. CrimeNet Explorer employed Dijkstra a Euro unregistered trademark S shortest path algorithm to calculate the betweenness and closeness from a single node to all other nodes in the subgroup. Network visualization using Torja Sony Euro unregistered trademark S metric multidimensional scaling algorithm. References External links Bartolini, I. Keechsia, P. Imagination, accurate image annotation using link analysis techniques.
Site Seer X, 10.1.1.63.2453. A link Shayuman MW, Srijayan Pang S, Pinitsun Torn S, by Lavelle Dai, Vati Wurthak Khan K, Methopat C, The Rapid Village Survey in Tuberculosis Control, Tuba Lung Dis 1996 Deck. 77, 6, 549 54. Gun He, K, Falatsus, C, Hebert, M, Unsupervised Modeling of Object Categories Using Link Analysis Techniques. Mish T, R, Intelligence Report. Ressler, S, Social Network Analysis as an Approach to Combat Terrorism, Past, Present and Future Research. RFFLOW, How to Draw a Link Analysis Diagram. IBM I2 Analysts Notebook Premium, Silbus Charts, A. What Makes Patterns Interesting in Knowledge Discovery Systems. Site Seer X, 10.1.1.53.2780. Terrorist and Rebel Link Analysis Feed, Workshop on Link Analysis, Dynamics and Static of Large Networks August 20, 2006, Van Meter, Carl M., Terrorists Liberators, Researching and Dealing with Adversary Social Networks, Connections 24, 3, 66-78.